This morning I want to share with you real quick. Uh, so we start two services in two weeks. I want to share with you the desires of my heart. I have a few people coming up. I'm going to share with you real quick. We're closing. We're going to be out of here. Um, but as they kind of make their way up here, I want to share with you kind of just this is my heart to heart talk with you. As a, as a leader of this church, I guess you can call me that, whatever. I want to share with you the why behind, really, why we made this move. I know some of you maybe it's confusing. You don't fully get it. But I want to share with you the bottom line and truly my heart from seven years ago. My heart. And it's this. Um, if this goes off a lot, I apologize. We started out in the basement of another church, a Baptist church. We met in the basement. There were 40 chairs there. Don't think I did count them. They had 40 chairs. 40. There's a church rule. I don't know if you care about church rules, but I'm going to tell you anyways because I got the stage. You get the stage, you tell them what you want. Okay? Bottom line is I can say what I want. Church rule. I'm not so much about church growth, and I'll tell you why I don't care about church growth. Church growth isn't important. Church growth isn't important for this reason. It's kind of like a kid. Oh, I want my baby to grow. I want my baby to grow. Well, what do you do? Keep your baby healthy. It'll grow. Okay? Naturally. Same with church. I think if the church is healthy, it grows. If people are always like, oh, I don't think we should spend eight dollars on that carpet. God bless. That's terrible. You know, um, you get into that stuff, you're not healthy, probably not going to grow. But if you stay healthy, don't worry, the rest takes care of stuff. Bottom line, we had um, 40 chairs when we first met in that basement. I count them, okay? One couple that joined us from the very beginning, Chris Carey LaFon. Chris helps lead the band, helps organize stuff. I want you in that seat, boy. Get up here. Walk on up. 40 chairs. We stayed there for about five to six months, and when we left to go to a new location, anyone want to guess how many people we had? The church rule, they call it the 80% rule. What that means is, once you get to 80% capacity, that's about all. You, you'll bump up, you'll come back down, but if you just look at your average for a year, if you're growing and you're healthy, 80% called the ceiling. Take it or leave it, don't care. But we had about 40, 41 chairs. Guess what? We left there, about 32 people. Actually, it was exactly 31 because I remember I was trying to fill out our seats in our new place. Will we fill it up? Will there be anybody there? So scared. All that. 30 people. About 80%. Chris and Carrie, first people. I, I called Chris one day and said, Chris, man, uh, I want you to plan a band. We're starting a new church. What? I said, man, I told you this a long time ago. We might do this. I know. When are you starting? Uh, a couple weeks. What? Like, yeah, we're going to do this thing. And I remember he was like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, let's do this. And I was like, yes, you're a moron just like me. We're going to be great together. Okay? <laughs> We had about 30 people. We grew there. And guess what happened? It was really the coolest thing. We went to this super negative five-star hotel called the Country Heart Inn. We had 72 chairs. We opened up chairs. And we had new people come. Now, you people are supposed to be my volunteers. Get your butts up here. Don't just stand back there. Get up here. You know who you are. They, they won't look at you. They're looking at me. Okay? I don't see Miss Jane. Where are you at, girl? You can get in this chair. we got to go home today. Okay? Guess what? Very first Sunday in the country art thing, we had 70 chairs. This lady come walking in the parking lot. Then, hey, how are you? She said, I think you went to school with my son. We hugged. Had no clue who she was. Um, she hugged me forever, though. First week, she's up there, hey, man. I was like, I like this chick. She's good, okay? She was into it. Guess what? This lady also, so many times, would come in early, and she prays over your chairs. And she prays that God would do something in your life for the people who are broken, for the people whose relationships are strained. God, please help them. She came that very first Sunday we moved, official Sunday, about four years ago. Walked in, we opened up chairs. People came. So then we said, okay, man, this isn't working. We got up to about 54 people, about 80% on average. I'm not making this up. You say what you want, it's just true. We get in there, we went to a new building that held about 110 chairs. Man, I was excited. We're gonna have our own building. It was gonna be awesome. We got new chairs. Here's the problem though. Our very first Sunday, we had like 140 people. And someone said, you're a moron. You've outgrown your building. And I was like, uh, no kidding. I don't know what to do. I really didn't. We didn't know what to do. But we opened up chairs. And this couple came to me. They're called the Porters. I was outside in the parking lot after church one Sunday talking to Rob. And he said this. He said, Trent, my biggest desire is I want to serve South Point. And I'm thinking, man, you're the church we want to partner with. We want to serve. They've been some of our greatest outreach volunteers from day one since they joined us. They joined us in the building. Came every week. They have a circle of influence of other people that have came since then. What happened? We opened up chairs. Last, last, uh, uh, yesterday, free fall, two locations. I mean, literally gave away thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And you know what we say? People, God loves you. We do too. And we just hope we can help. Started with people like that, like the 
numbers. Guess what? 110 chairs, we start averaging somewhere in that 82, 83 people, up and down, back and forth, but it stopped. People were like, man, we're getting kind of full, we've got to do something here. Guess what? It's okay, let's pray about it. They call us, can't go to school, can't go to school, find someone's like, okay, you can go to the elementary, we'll let you use that. We opened up, we have exactly about 200 chairs. You want to know what 80% of 200 is? I looked at our adult average from literally January 1 to right now. Guess what our adult average is if we have 200 chairs? Anyone get it, man? We've had exactly 160. Our, our average, our exact 160 adults. 160 adults in chairs. Guess what? 8%. Here's the cool thing. When we came into the elementary, this new couple came in. I remember they came. Joel, who came through the quarters, then got invited by these people. Well, they came in. Their names are the DeLongs. I'm done after this, okay? I know some of you just want to go eat lunch, but you got to bear with me for one second. We opened up chairs. We opened up space. These new people came in. And let me end with this. I was in a truck with Mark from the Iron Creek Fall yesterday. And he was talking about his life. Talking about his past. Talking about the mistakes he's made. Talking about their life before they came to C3. Hanging on a thread. Marriage wasn't. And I'm not telling you they're not perfect married. They know that too. But hanging by a thread. As we were driving back to Ironton, we went to pick up some more stuff. And he said, man, this church, man, it's done something for us. It's done something for us. Our lives are completely different. You know what was cool while we were meeting in the old church? We baptized Rob and Kim's daughter. One of the very first people we ever baptized. Lives were changed. You know what? Last time, I think it was the last... Uh, anniversary cookout celebration last last year, we baptized all 84 of these guys' kids. <laughs> it's nine hours to do it. Hot dogs and hamburgers were cold. It's family. Their family is different. Legacies and generations are changed because we opened up chairs. We opened up chairs. Let me just give you my heart this morning. You can call me, you can email me. I like you to be good, I like to be one big happy home. That's fine, but that's not the mission of the church. It's not. The church, you know what it is? Our calling is to be a light and to share the gospel. Jesus gave us a command. It's called go. Go. Share your faith. Reach out to people. Jesus said, you know what? When I lived on earth, it wasn't about these people. It was about those people. It was about the people that need me the most. And that's why we open up chairs. That's it. So you're like, yeah, but you also get to the numbers game. Think about how dumb the numbers game is. Who do you brag to? I go to McDonald's today. Guess what? In the last four weeks, we've averaged 250 total people at our church. You know, 16 year old girl. Okay, uh, do you want that biggie size number one or you want regular? I can give a crap less. I'm like, touche. No one really cares. So you're like, it's not building anybody's ego because nobody cares outside of these walls. But I do know this every time I open up a chair, Life's changed. And I will tell you this. That's the most important thing to me. That's why we started this church. Because we knew people could find life in Christ and grow to what He's called them to be. That's why. So with that, even though the volunteers completely stunk at their jobs today, let's give them a hand. Thank you, Jamal. You can leave. Uh, Abandoned help, we're going to pray. We'll be 